This is Mark in the Center for Online Learning and Innovation. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to build a simple survey using Qualtrics, a powerful online survey toolset. I'll make a form for a hypothetical survey, asking faculty how and how much they use Internet-based technologies for teaching. In the process, I'll demonstrate various phases of a survey project. This video is part of a series done by Kali, showing typical procedures for running data gathering projects through Qualtrics or Google Forms. Here we'll look at a very simple example using Qualtrics, and in this video I'll cover the very basics of question construction. For an employee or student at Canisius, accessing your Qualtrics account is easy. Within the portal or My Canisius, after you've logged in, you'll find Qualtrics under My Applications in the Launchpad menu on the left. If you've just come into Qualtrics for the first time, your screen may look simpler than this. You may just have a button that says something like Create Project. But after you've created a first project, you'll thereafter see the My Projects page. In Qualtrics, the My Projects page is like a lobby or a landing, from where I can access any form projects I've created, start a new project, and some additional things like access content stored in libraries, or panels stored in contact lists. I have more than a few projects that I've created and some that others have shared with me. To keep track of them, I've organized them all into folders. You can see those folders on the left-hand side of the screen. This is helpful, but not strictly necessary. In this video, I'm building a form, so I'm working in the editor. If I wanted to edit a pre-existing form, I simply click that project in the list, and it opens in the editor. When in the editor, to return to the My Project screen, I can just click the four dot icon in the upper left. I want to start a new survey project and build a new survey form rather than edit an old one. To do that, I click Create Project in the upper right. Then I name it. If I want to, I can add it to an existing folder in my account. Again, surveys need not be in folders, but it is handy to organize your surveys if you have a lot. In this example, I've given my survey project a pretty generic name, but when you're actually building surveys, you probably want to make the name as specific as possible, because over time you may accumulate a lot of surveys in your account, and you want to be able to readily identify which one you're working with at the present. Qualtrics creates the new survey form and starts me out with a single multiple choice question. For this demonstration, I've carefully crafted a set of questions in a Google Doc. These include both multiple choice questions as well as some text entry questions, which are the two most commonly used question types. So I'll get started by typing in the question text and set up each question to operate the way I want. Adding or editing questions in Qualtrics is very easy. Simply point to the element you wish to change. Once it's highlighted, click it, and it becomes a text box. So I'll change this text to match my first question. Next, I'll click on an answer option to fill that in too. I could click on each of these answer options, but here's a tip. If I use the Enter key on my Windows keyboard or the Return key on my Mac keyboard, Qualtrics will automatically take me to the next answer option. When I've seemingly run out of answer options, if I hit the Enter key on my keyboard, Qualtrics will just go ahead and create me another answer option in this question. At any time, I could go back and edit any element in a question simply by clicking on it, which again turns it into a text box, and I'm able to make my edits. Now my survey has one question. If this question were served to respondents, they would only be able to choose a single answer. But I want to modify the question so that my respondents could choose multiple answers. Each type of question has a sophisticated array of options typically presented on the right-hand side when the question is highlighted. 
The different options will depend on which type of question you have, and in fact I can even change the type of question using this green drop-down at the top. In this case, all I need to do is come down to Answers and choose Multiple Answer. Qualtrics has changed the round radio buttons to square checkboxes to reflect the fact that my respondents can now choose more than one answer in responding to this question. So I've entered some of my questions so far, but I'd like to add a message above my first question that just has a general introduction to the survey. This needs to be a simple text explanation, not a question per se. But Qualtrics considers a simple text box where I can enter text for my respondents to read, roughly equivalent to a question for editing and data reporting purposes. So to do this, I'll start by creating another question. Now I could create a new question by scrolling down all the way to the bottom of my questions I've got in here so far, and I can choose Create a New Question. And it'll create a new multiple choice question by default after the last question that I have entered already. If I wanted to move this question up, I can go over here to the left where there are these two little arrows up and down, and I can just click it and it'll move up, click the down arrow, it'll move down, and so on. I can be a little quicker in creating new questions where I want them in the survey by using these little green circles with the white plus in them. If I click this green plus button here, it's going to add a question right at this line between this question and this question. In this case, I actually want to add a question, which will later be a, a simple text box, actually above this first question. So I'm going to click this green button right here. Now I have to convert this to a descriptive text box. I'm going to go over here to change question type, click the drop down, and I'm going to choose descriptive text uh, that's next to the heading static content. Now this can be a little confusing. A simple text box with no features for collecting a response from survey takers is in this menu here with questions under the label Change Question Type. But Qualtrics does have this sidebar label Static Content, which is to suggest to you that this is not really a question. In fact, you shouldn't confuse this with Text Entry down here. A Text Entry option or a Text Entry question is in fact a question since it will give you an opportunity to write the question prompt, but then it will ask your respondents to enter something into a text box in response to that question. And in fact, if I hover over any of these questions in this change question type menu, you'll see that to the left, Qualtrics is including a example of the question. So you don't want to confuse descriptive text, which only shows your respondents a message that you, you put in for them with a text entry, which is in fact a question that asks them to type in some sort of response. I'll choose descriptive text right now. And then Qualtrics gives me something similar to a question, except all it is is a text box. And if I click on it, just like I did the question prompts and the answer options in these multiple choice questions, I can enter text, and I'm going to do that right now. The last thing I'll mention in this video is the preview feature. You can get there via the big blue button up toward the right. Simply put, this lets you see your survey form, or as much of it as you've built so far, as potential respondents would see it, both on a desktop or laptop computer screen, as well as a phone screen. The preview opens in a separate tab. To get back to your survey editor, you can either simply navigate to the editor in the previous tab, or you can click Close Preview in the upper left of the preview window. So this video covered the basics of getting into Qualtrics and getting started on a survey form. In other videos, I'll discuss some more options for questions, conditional logic, options for sending or making available your survey form to respondents, and then how you can work with the data you collect.